Hey guys, uh, thanks a lot for liking the videos that I'm making nowadays. Uh, the bag that we're gonna review today is New Balance. It's a very popular brand. New Balance TC Series One to Six Zero. It's a limited edition bag. New Balance is a very well-known brand, and uh, the thing is that uh, a one to six zero range is uh, it does fall into the higher category bag of this brand. This particular Velo, uh, Velo, I have been using it uh, since last one year now almost. Uh, though in not many matches I've used it, but still it's pretty much nicely knocked. It's a fully knocked bat right now. Uh, and moreover, there's, uh, the black spot that you're looking at, it, it's, not a, it's not a spot, it's not a knot. It's actually a burned mark that I had to make because one thread of the wood or the Velo was coming out. So I had to just eliminate it right, right from the word go. So this bar is quite a nice one. First of all, aesthetically speaking, you know, the stickers are in 3D, definitely. Um, it's in the color combination of gray, black, and uh, red. It's a nice one. Nice combination. The length of the blade is quite a good one. It's just, it's, it's just slightly above uh, or more than that of the short handle, standard short handle bat. Though it's a short handle bat, but its length is a little bit higher than the, longer than that, that of the standard short handle bat. This particular piece of willow has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight uh, grains. Moreover, the the added advantage to this trip is that it has two tone. It's a two tone willow. There is a uh, there is a brownish shade, and you know most proportion of the willow is is of the white willow. Uh, such kind of willow is very rare to find, and whenever you whenever you see you know uh, big players like Smith, he prefers such kind of willow, which has you know his willow mostly contains fifty percent of uh, uh, the brownish shade and fifty percent of the uh, whitish shade willow because it, it 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 is being said that it's one of the best responsive. Let us see. Now look at the profile of the bat as far as the profile is concerned. The middle portion is quite low, so it, it suits for the for the cemented tracks. Moreover, you know, uh, the bottom the bottom portion is not very thin. It's a thick one. So there was no need to apply thread in order to protect the bottom. So I didn't do so. Just I uh, I just applied or embossed uh, an, an entire scuffing sheet over here. Regarding the balance of the bat, in order to balance out the bat as per my standard habit, I do apply two grips over here. Moreover, I made one more arrangement that the handle was stiff, so I had to uh, make it into two parts. I cut in two halves and then, you know, inserted a rubber and threaded it again just to get the, you know, extra uh, flexibility in the bat. Now, let's move towards the, to check the pink portion of the bat. Okay, I'll start with the bottom. I'm using a relatively new ball for this purpose. Even the bottom portion is bottom is fully knocked. You can see this is sheer bottom. Still, it is giving excellent response. Now we'll move towards the middle of the bat. You can check the sound of the bat and the ping of the bat too. Now we'll move towards the upper portion. Now the, this bat is fully knocked, fully knocked up till here as well. You can just see, you know, it is really fully knocked bat. So guys, I hope that uh, to, to, to me, it's the second best bat of mine that I use in, the se in, in this season. Uh, and moreover, regarding the edges, these are not very thick one, but at the same time, more, this is not much, there is not much concaving done in this bat. So it's a, quite a thick bat and uh, it's, you know, it's a powerful weapon that I use in this season, but I didn't, didn't use it much. Still, it's my second ba best bat till now. Thanks a lot. I hope that you liked the video and you will please like, subscribe and share the channel as well.